hello it's Linda um, and I'm here to show you today how I put together this um, lovely little box which I made for two jumbo tea lights um, I'm really pleased with it um, I I've added this into the lining which just stops them sort of flapping about inside the box um, I'm just really pleased it's a really nice sturdy little box and I'm going to show you how I've made it Okay, you need the envelope punch board and four pieces of card in total. You want two pieces, oh, let me grab my instructions. You want two pieces of seven and a half by seven and a half inch cardstock. Um, this is crumb cake by Stamping Up. And the very first piece, the base card that we're going to do, you want to put in your board um, at the three and seven eighths mark on your envelope punch board. And the punch and score. And then rotate your card and go in at the two inch mark. And punch and score. Rotate and back to three and seven eighths. Punch and score. And one final go in at two inches punch and score oh oh dear <laughs> right and now what we're going to do is go in and we're going to line up all of these score lines here with this notch on the board okay so your first one like so rotate the card in at the next one rotate the card and one final go okay so that's the base scored up I'll move it out of the way um, bring in the bone folder and then what you want to do is just lightly go around all of the fold lines here or all of the um, score lines rather and just like I say lightly burnish the score lines when you've done that you then want to we'll start this end little little triangle fold it in and then fold on the second inner score line in towards the middle of your card so you've got that now and you want to do that on all four sides so again fold into that inner score line and lightly burnish and just go around your card that one's done now what you want to do is get yourself some sticky strip and just put a little bit on each of these little triangles I've got white ink all over my hands I've been stamping them for nobody's business this morning I'm playing with all my all of my inks right so you've got those done what you want to do push that little flap down there's your little triangle facing you and then fold over and hopefully you've got that as close to the edge as you can so it's sitting quite nice and flush and we're going to do that with the other end as well. Fold in, fold over. Okay. Um, oh yeah, we want to snip these um, these little flaps here, either side of the the big triangle, and you want to go in vertically in towards the inner score line. like so and then what you want to do is put sticky strip here along the corners where, where this is going to fold in on itself you want the sticky strip to be along the edge here of the flap so just quickly go around and do all of those Oops. 
and just peel those off. Oh dear, this one does not want to come away. Okay, and so now what you want to do oops, is just um, bring your corners up so that they meet nice and sharp. You've got a nice sharp right angle there. And you want to do that on all four corners, like so. And finally that one. so and then you're left with these now what I like to do with this one is you've got a long edge here on the inner side of this triangle just put yourself a little bit of sticky tape that will help adhere it to the side the side of the um, the box and it helps to strengthen it And then you just want to pop yourself a little bit here. And a little bit there. Like so. Yeah, it doesn't really matter whether you stick it there or on the inside, whatever going to be the same anyway so turn the box on its side fold down like that and sit it up okay and lie on its side again push this one in like nice and flat and move your sticky strip like so and that's the base formed and now we're going to um, bring in the this strip here which is nine and a quarters by two and a quarter now I'm going to pretend I'm scoring here this is my last piece of crumb cake card um, and I've already gone and pre-scored it so I'm just going to show you ooh, where where to score so you want to pop your card in here you want to score first at the one inch mark on your board. Okay, then you want to score at one and a quarter inches, then at two and a quarter, and then flip your card round and do exactly the same. You score at one, one and a quarter, and two and a quarter. Okay, and then this way. And then you what you want to do is fold up that first score line and the second and then like that so you've got this shape okay and do that with the other end so fold up to the first score line second and then the third comes in on itself so you've got that little structure there okay and so what you want to do then is just pop it into your box like so all right and as you can see that will now hold two jumbo tea lights nice and snugly so that's the base made now I'm just going to see how I'm doing for time so I might have to just stop and start again oh, I think I can just about do this I'll show you quickly I'm not going to do all the sticking but we'll, we'll do the um, the scoring um, on what, whatever for the lid okay so for the lid you want to it's the same size card it's seven and a half by seven and a half and instead of going in at three and seven eighths, you want to move your card along to four inches so that you increase that measurement by one eighth of an inch. And that's what makes the lid fit snugly. So go in at four. Okay, Ooh, wrong scoring tool. Punch and score, rotate, um, and then go in at two and one eighth. Punch and score, go back to your four inch mark on the board punch and score, rotate the card and go back to the two inch, sorry, the two and an eighth of an inch mark on your board. Punch and score and then like you did with the um, base you're going to go around now and marry up all of these score lines like so.
Okay. And you want to go around and do exactly as you did with the base. Just fold in all your score lines, burnish them nice and lightly with the bone folder, like so. And then you want to go in to the second score lines again. So just go around now and do the inner score lines like so. And that will then be the lid all prepped and ready to stick together just like we did with the base. Okay, um, so I'm just going to stop the film there and I'll start up again before I run out of... Um, run out of time on this little bit and we'll come back in and I'll show you how we're going to decorate and put together the lid. Right, so I've gone ahead and I have put all the um, sticky strip on here that I'm going to need for the lid. I've gone ahead and I've done the inside as well. Um, and what I'm just quickly going to do now is decorate this top Panel. I only want to do this centre panel on the top of the box um, so what I'm going to do is mask off that area I've got some crumb cake ink here to tone with my crumb cake card and I've chosen this pretty little um, rose motif and it's from an old set here which is called You Are Loved it's an old stamping up set and um, I really love that set actually um, but I think this is going to work really nicely with this box okay so I've masked off that area I'm just going to randomly stamp around the lid to stick the lid together now there and remember what I said lay the box flat on its side I've got some sticky tape on the inside there slide that one and that then gives you the lid I'm just going to decorate that now. Um, what have I done with my pretty lace ribbon? I love this. This is Victoria it's lace um, by Stamping Up. I'm just going to go ahead and um, just line, sorry, stick it to the inside of the lid here. All right. I'll use this one. So, roughly central, get some sticky tape in there, down the side of your card, and just go all the way around on all four sides, 
like so. Okay, and then what you want to do, oh dear, is remove all of the backing paper, move that out of the way actually. And then just go around with your lace ribbon my bone folder push that right up to the edge like so and just bring it over the top and across to the other side Okay, I've been a naughty girl actually, I've just realised. I haven't cut the um, piece that's going to line the inside of this, but you want to hide that with a, a little piece of card cut to size, um, just to hide all that there, stick it inside. But that's the, um, the, the lid created. Um, so just bring in the base here. Um, I'm not going to be showing you how I've made this rose for this tutorial because it was just the tutorial will go on forever and ever. Um, but I took my inspiration from a YouTube video by JJ Showers who made a rose using a completely different punch. Um, I think it was called the Five Petal Punch, something like that. Um, and I thought I'll have a go at doing it with the, um, the Pansy Punch, which I've got somewhere up here. Um, yeah, that's my pansy punch, so I used that to make this. So if you find um, JJ Shower's YouTube tutorial on how to make a rose, it's exactly the same principle as hers, but just using a different punch. But I may well be doing another tutorial on my version anyway, but I won't be doing it right now. Okay, so, as you can see, those sit in there really nicely now. They don't shake about so that's that created um, and really I just want to finish off now make a little um, label to go on the top so what have I done with my decorative labels punch there we are I'm um, going to bring that rose back in that we used earlier and I'm just going to stamp around here just to get some decor on the paper and I'm just going to a tiny little sentiment which I've picked out of um, this set here called teeny tiny sentiments by stamping up I'm going to use that just to um, well that one there just for you I'm going to just use that in the middle so I'm just going to go I'm going to take it on the skew like that Okay, I'm bringing my punch and just cut out the area that I want, which is there. Okay. Gonna get some some of my glue dots. I'm just going to randomly stick it like that and put some more double sided tape on, on the rows here. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm just going to pop that on there like so. And there you have it. It's a sweet little box for two jumbo tea lights. I hope you like the tutorial. Um, I actually made another one using Whisper White cardstock um, and I use exactly the same um, stamp the, that I used for this one but I went all over the lid with that one just the, just the top and, and I put some um, seam binding ribbon on it and I think that one's really pretty too um, yeah lovely little boxes they're really good and sturdy um, I enjoyed making it and I hope that you're able to follow this and, 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 and make one and enjoy it too. Thank you for watching and I will be back with another tutorial.